Hi guys, welcome to episode 3 of our Dairy Farm playthrough with Seasons mod on Goldcrest Valley. We're day 2 of the summer. It was actually raining all morning, so I fast forwarded to just afternoon. If you look uh, beyond out in the distance, field 14, our wheat is ready to harvest. Because of the rain, the crops are still a little wet, so we'll have to wait for that to dry. Hopefully we can get that done this afternoon. And if you look at field 15, our grass field, our grass isn't quite matured yet, so we're not going to be able to harvest it today. Um, we should be able to do it tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I think our silage bales have fermented, so we'll be able to feed our cattle, and we'll be able to harvest our wheat and make straw bales. So let's get started. We'll get in our trusty tractor. Wheat's looking pretty good. We're gonna head over to the shop and get our food mixer so we can mix our bales together and get make some uh, total mix ration. Okay, let's pull up the shop menu um, under animals. We're going to start with this um, food mixer, or forage mixer wagon. Blend silage, hay, and straw into TMR. Can be fed to cows. All right, 41,000. Okay, if we pull up the menu and go to our animals tab, we'll see here we have eight cows, 7% health, and we need water, straw, grass, silage, and hay, and then power food. Power food is the um, what's made in this machine. So it takes hay, silage, and straw. We don't have straw, so we'll have to do 50-50 hay and silage. Okay, so as you can see in the menu there, our mixing ratio is 50% hay, 50% silage. And down on the bottom right, we have just a little under 8,000, which is 50% of the capacity of the mixer wagon. So we drive this up to the main trough and unload. Oops. Unload is I. There we go. So 
So back at the animals tab, we have silage, hay, power food. We need grass and straw we don't have, and we'll need to get some water. Does this not take grass? Well, how am I going to get this guy out? There we go. Let's see if we can pull this out. I guess we have to manually drop the grass into the trough. I believe the grass goes into the side trough. There we go. Check our animals tab. Grass, silage, hay, power food. Water and straw. So for water, we need to get a water tank. We'll have to go back up to the shop. And I guess we had some cows die because I could have swore we bought 12 cows the other day. And now this is only registering 8 cows. I'm guessing four of them died overnight. So this is the water tank, just a hair under ten thousand dollars. And if you get water from the fire hydrant and you have to pay for it, there is a way to get free water and that's if you back it back this tank up into the river and then pull straight from the river there's a couple places nearby where the the river is shallow enough for us to dip into it um, one of them I go to is just over here So the, just to the south of Field 26, there's a little beach area where the river bank is shallow enough for us to back this tank up. Just want to be careful not to go too far back or we'll dump both the tank and the tractor in the river.
So the water trough is over here on the west side of this cattle pen. It's this trough all the way over here. Okay, once we've filled it up, we can just set it off to the side and detach it. I'll just leave it here. So back at our animals tab. 100% cleanliness, water is full, grass is in the green. These two are in the orange, so I want to do another load. And straw is still at zero. It takes a little bit for this to repopulate, so it still shows 11% with no rep no production. Um, so give it a little bit, and then it'll it'll start working. Okay, so we're in the green here. This is approximately halfway, so I want to go ahead and drop another grass bale. Doesn't really do us any good to leave it out because it's going to deteriorate after today, I believe. If I remember correctly, it's every two days. And we picked that grass up a couple days ago, so I think today is the very last day. I'll drop one grass bale in, and then I'll wrap the other one, and it'll be good for silage tomorrow. Okay, we're all full there. We're on the green on these two. We're on the green everywhere else except for the straw, which we don't have yet. So I'll take that last grass bale and turn it into silage. Or rather wrap it so it turns into silage. Otherwise, it's going to deteriorate overnight. I'm going to park the mixer under cover until we use it again. I'm 
Okay, let's go back to the shop. Okay, I went ahead and brought the windrower here because it's, it'll be the first thing we use after harvest. We'll need to windrow the straw uh, so we can pick it up with the baler. In the meantime, what I'd like to do also, if you go into our menus in the prices tab, when you start a game out, the game starts you out with some grain in your silos. Let's go ahead and sell some of those so we can pad our bank account a little bit. We'll start with canola and take it to Goldcrest Pacific Grain. Goldcrest Pacific Grain, it's over there on the far east next to field 13. So let's do that. Okay, now let's take sunflowers to the highest dollar amount right now is at Maplefield Mill, which we'll need the train for that. And we'll go ahead and load the train up with wheat, because um, Maplefield Mill also has the highest wheat price. So to load the trains, you have to bring our crop into this train depot, load it into their silos, and then load the crop onto the train. Now the wheat.
leave our tractor here and then walk to the train for Maplefield Mill we'll need the west train which is the one on the far end and just walk up to the engine and get in so the train has the first card is for logs and the next three cards will hold grain so we'll have to move it forward to the first card and stop it and we can fill this one with the wheat and then we'll move it forward to the next one the door automatically opens stop it and fill this up with sunflower okay You want to give yourself plenty of time to slow down because this thing takes forever to stop. So there went our wheat. Now forward to the sunflower. Okay, and then we just loop back around. Let's go back to the farm. So we'll go ahead and take barley, soybeans, and corn to the mill. Using the same process, loading it to the trains.
Okay, that's all of my stored crops. Oops, wrong button. We've sold everything we have. Now we're at $71,000. We're carrying a $300,000 loan debt. Let's look at our animal tab, see if this is refreshed. So it looks like they still need the straw. They've created 15 liters of milk so far, but the health is still pretty low. We need to get that straw picked up here pretty quick. Well, actually, as we were unhitching that tipper, the wet crop icon went away. So it looks like our wheat is finally dry enough to harvest. So we'll need to go ahead and lease a new harvester, header for the harvester, and then let's get it picked up as soon as we can so we can windrow and bale our straw and give it to the cows. I think that'll be it for this episode though. We'll start that right up on the next episode. Until then, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to catch future episodes, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time.